This video tutorial takes you through configuring HearTel for Windows Phone 7.5 and up. HearTel is a point-to-point -point communication social networking app for your Windows Phone 7.5 device that allows you to do push-to-talk style, walkie-talkie style, or CB radio style communication uh, using your Windows Phone device. Um, to set up to configure a HearTel, you slide over to uh, and you click on the settings button. And this takes you into the settings configuration area. There's a couple of things that you'll be able to configure from here. Receive and play messages that I broadcast basically allows you to receive messages that uh, you send to yourself. So this could be something you do if you want to test out um, just make sure that it it's sending messages out to um, the server and then pinging coming back to you. It can also be for uh, channels that you subscribe to when you actually send a message into the channel. Um, if this is checked, then the message will be broadcast back to you. If it's not checked, then you'll you won't receive messages that you actually send. You only hear messages from other people. Delivery notification is something you can highlight if you want to have the messages that you send to people um, actually for you to be notified when it's been delivered um, to those individuals. Uh, you know, this is somewhat unreliable because in certain instances you may not get a delivery notification if, for instance, the person on the other end um, listens to the message but turns off the phone during a period of time while they're listening or anything like that so you know take it with a grain of salt it's not exactly um, the most reliable but in the perfect scenario where you send the message the person gets the message um, if the message is um, being played on their device you will get a notification of that run under lock basically allows the application to continue to run uh, while you lock um, the phone, so if you turn the phone off, um, you know you push the power button, then the phone will continue to run. You'll continue to get messages. Uh, for the most part, if you have push notifications enabled, you won't need this because basically push notifications run under lock, so you will be notified when a message is sent. Um, but you can use this if you'd like to say here the messages as they're being sent. And I'll talk a little bit about later on um, why this might be useful. Prompt on exit is just something that you can check if you want to be notified um, when you exit the application. As you hit the back button, going backwards to the application, when you're about to leave the app, it'll this will basically give you a, a dialog box to let you know, hey, you're about to leave the app. Use push notification. So this allows you to get messages even when you're not running the application, even when uh, the application is you know, sitting you know, idly, not doing anything, or your phone is sitting idly, sorry, not doing anything, you will actually receive uh, notifications. They'll show up up here, let you know that a message has been sent to you. And you can click, <coughs> click the notification, and it'll bring you into the application, and you'll be able to uh, play your message. Enable location beacon. So this allows you to it tu basically turns on your um, your GPS on your phone so that um, you will uh, the so that our application will know where you are. This message is broadcast um, back uh, to the HearTel network and it's used um, in scenarios where people create chat rooms and they only want. Um, other users that are within a certain geographic area to have access to those chat rooms. In those kinds of scenarios, you basically check that you, if you, in those kinds of scenarios, if you don't have this checked and we can't validate where, how far away you are from the individual, then you basically won't be allowed to communicate with them. So in order to allow full communication with all the people that you're able to, you should typically check this. Autoplay incoming messages. <coughs> So this this setting um, works great with run under lock. Basically, when these two things are checked, 
uh, as you receive messages they'll just automatically play there won't be any notification there won't be any pop-ups or anything they'll just play um, you know, almost walkie-talkie style like uh, you won't have to actually um, go to the conversation window where the person is actually talking to you or anything like that just blindly play the messages uh, you know uh, a, a warning in this scenario is that those messages are played regardless of what window you're actually on so you can potentially hear messages while you're in a separate conversation that are not tied to the conversation you're in so just um it's a, you know just be be forewarned of that it's ideal for driving situations where you'd like to maybe listen to a subscription channel um, and you just want to hear all the messages that are being um, sent around and you don't necessarily want to um, contribute to it so this kind of uh, setting would work great uh, enable send notifications so this just notifies you when your message has actually reached the here tell side when it's actually sent to us uh, you will get a message box that lets you know so those are the settings um, for here tell um, again you can access here tell using your windows uh, mobile device windows phone device or you can actually go to our beta site beta.heartel.com and you can actually send and receive uh, messages directly uh, from our website to any here tell a subscriber whether they're on the phone or also on the website I uh, check here tell out now on your windows uh, at the windows phone marketplace thank you